In this video, we can figure Azure AD passwordless authentication with a FIDO2 security key. Hello everyone, I'm Travis and this is Seraldos. In my last video, we set up VMware Workstation with USB pass-through to configure Windows Hello with facial recognition. This is kind of a continuation of that video, although the topics will apply to physical hardware as well. I'm just using VMware because my home lab is pretty much non-existent. The goal is to use a USB security key to log into the Microsoft portal in Windows with passwordless authentication. This would be helpful for organizations that want to support a login method stronger than username and passwords. And for an added layer of security, we'll use the new YubiCo YubiKey Bio, a version of their popular YubiKey that's enhanced with fingerprint biometrics. Before that, please like, subscribe, share with a friend, and click the bell icon for notifications of new content. If you'd like to learn more about sharing identities between Windows AD and Azure AD, check out my course on hybrid identities at udemy.com. The link is below. Enough of the sales pitch. Passwordless authentication offers a strong sign-in method that's convenient to users. In the demo coming up, we'll configure a user for FIDO2 passwordless authentication and then walk through the onboarding process. As part of that onboarding for passwordless authentication, the user has to configure MFA. We'll use a phone call for that. The Microsoft Authenticator app could be used, but I wanted to demonstrate an option that does not require a mobile device. Not every organization can ask their users to use personal devices for work, and security keys are a good alternative to the Microsoft Authenticator app. One note before we get into this, I'm using the YubiKey Bio for this example, any FIDO2 key will work as long as it's supported by Azure AD. I'll have a link below. YubiKey was nice enough to send me some keys to test with. I use VMware Workstation for this example in the video. I did run into a problem with YubiKey 5 NFC and VMware Workstation. The YubiKey Bio and Security Key NFC worked with VMware Workstation. I'm passing this along in case anyone else is testing with VMware Workstation. It seems that the host didn't give up the hardware like I expected it should. The USB device just wouldn't connect to the client. In any event, on physical hardware, it all works fine. There was more than just a couple hours invested in figuring that out. By the way, if you're interested in trying this yourself, check out the affiliate links below. Let's jump into the Azure AD portal to get started. Let's start out in Azure AD. We need to enable passwordless authentication for the user we'll test with. And more specifically, we have to enable them for the FIDO2 protocol. So we'll go to the Azure AD portal, go to security, go to authentication methods. This is the location where we can specify the type of passwordless authentication available to users. For this example, we'll use FIDO2 security keys. If you want to use other methods, such as the Microsoft Authenticator app or a text message, that could be enabled from here as well. Go to FIDO2 security key. From here, we can enable or disable FIDO2. We can also target individual users or groups or set it for all users. Let's go to configure. We'll leave this as it is, but we could enable or disable self-service setup. We can also enforce attestation. This means that the FIDO key metadata is published and verified with the FIDO2 Alliance metadata service. It also has passed Microsoft's validation. We can also restrict certain FIDO keys by enforcing key restrictions. Let's go back to basics. From here, we'll add a test user. I already have a couple in here. We'll add a new one. Let's add passwordless one. Be sure to click save. And now that user is enabled for passwordless authentication with a FIDO2 security key. In order to onboard with passwordless authentication, the user has to configure MFA. If the user is not already onboarded with MFA, they'll be required to set that up. Before we get to that, we have to configure the YubiKey Bio with the Authenticator app. If you don't have the Authenticator app, go to the Microsoft Store and search for Yubico Authenticator. Install the Yubico Authenticator, and once it's installed, open it as an administrator.
This step is only required for the Yubico Bio key with a built-in fingerprint reader. If you're using another FIDO2 key, you can skip this step. Using passwordless authentication with a FIDO2 key that doesn't have a fingerprint reader does not require the Yubico Authenticator app. So from here, we're going to configure the fingerprint reader on this UB key. So under configuration, we'll go to WebAuth. First, we'll create a pen. Once we create the pen, we have the option to add or delete fingerprints. Let's go there and we'll add a fingerprint. And at this point, we simply touch the YubiKey fingerprint reader until it says it's done. We'll give it a name so we can identify what finger I guess it is. And we can add additional fingerprints up to five. At minimum, you should probably add one from both hands in case of some unfortunate accident or if it's just more convenient to use both hands. I'll stick with one for this example. That enables the fingerprint reader on the UB key. Without doing this step, the key will act just like any other key that simply needs to be touched. We paid extra for the biometric, so we might as well make sure that's working. We can close the Authenticator app. Next, we're gonna log into myprofile.microsoft.com and set up passwordless authentication. To do that, I'm gonna open up an in-private window This way I know that I'm logging in with the correct identity. Let's go to security information. And currently there's no methods. So let's add a method. And we have the option for security key. If we go to add, it's letting us know that in order to set up a security key, we have to first set up two-factor authentication. Let's go to next. This will walk us through configuring two-factor authentication. If that's already enabled on the count, you can skip this step. For this example, I'm gonna pretend that we can't request the users to use their personal devices for MFA. So in this case, we're going to use a phone method. We'll go to set up different method. We'll go to phone. I'll enter my phone number. And I'll request a call. And again, we're just using a phone because we don't want to expect the users to use the Authenticator app when they log in. So they could onboard the FIDO key from their office and then use that for logging in while they're remote. Okay, that's great. Now we have multi-factor authentication set up with the phone call. Let's go to next and done. And no, we don't. Now that we're signed in with multi-factor authentication, we can configure the security key. Let's go to add method. Security key. And we'll use USB. We'll click OK at the security key setup and we'll continue setup. And just to verify, I have the UB key attached to the host computer and that's connected to the virtual machine running in VMware Workstation. So now I have to touch the key. In order for that to work, I had to use the finger that I enrolled through the Authenticator app. So although it said touch the key, it actually required that fingerprint ID. So now I'll, I'll add the pin. Actually, I had to add the pin because it took me so long to touch the uh, UB key. As a security step, if you don't touch it right away, or if there's a problem as you're trying to touch it, it will prompt you to enter in the pin we set up. Let's give it a name. YubiKey Bio and next.
Okay, great. Now we have passwordless authentication working. I'm going to click done and close this browser and then open up another in private window. And we're only doing the in private window for this example to prevent a conflict between the different credentials we're using. Now let's go to myprofile.microsoft.com. Normally we'd enter in a username and password, but instead let's go sign in options. From here, we'll select sign in with a security key. We have to touch it again with the finger that we enrolled. And we're in, we're now logged in using passwordless authentication. But wait, there's more. I'm going to disconnect the key from this computer and move to another computer. So I'll disconnect. And this is one of the advantages of using a virtual environment. It would be much more difficult and expensive if I was to do this with physical hardware. From here, I'll attach it to another computer that has a fresh install of Windows. So Windows is installed on this computer and it's just going through the last phases of setup. I'm going to set up a work or school account. And here it's asking for sign in. Instead of entering a username and password, I'm going to use a security key. So we'll sign in with a security key. Now it's asking to touch the key. And again, it expects the fingerprint that's been added to the key. This can be done with a FIDO2 key that doesn't have a fingerprint reader, then we would just have to touch it. I'll accept the privacy settings. Next, you'll log in the user. Now it will onboard for Windows Hello, so I click OK. For Windows Hello, it's going to use a PIN number. I'll just enter in my pin. There we are. So at no point did I have to enter in a password. Let's log off and log back in. At this point, we'll enter in the pin that was just set up. and we're logged in. If I open up Edge and go to myprofile.microsoft.com, we'll go to sign in options, sign in with hello. And here I can use hello or I can use the security key. And we're signed in. So that's good. We were able to set up a FIDO2 key for passwordless authentication and use it on a web browser and also use it to sign into a brand new computer, all without having to enter a username and password. I hope this helps you better understand how to set up passwordless authentication with FIDO2 compliant security keys. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the bell icon for notifications of new content. Also, check out the affiliate links below if you're interested in trying this yourself. Thanks for watching.